Good afternoon, March the 14th, 2016. This is CISD 113, Section 1, Information Security and Privacy. Today is day number 15, in the week number 8. So let's get started. Good afternoon, and welcome back to today's class. If you look at the white screen, we are at week number 8. And that means, officially speaking, this is the first week for common based learning. Learning contract number one, number three, okay? We got through learning contract number one, and we skip through learning contract number two. In a sense, you do not need to submit the artifacts for learning contract number two last week, yet. Yeah? So, the next time you have to submit the artifact is on April the 2nd, okay? Three weeks from today. Okay. Now, let's try to give you some background on common-based learning. Now, starting from this week, okay, and uh, I have to appreciate the, the effort that the whole class have done last week. You now have a pair identity, and then you also have a team identity, and one of the uh, task force has already given me the information of the two teams. They are willing to form together to become a task force. So the next things I'm going to ask you after the introductions today is what about the task force conversations, okay? So problem-based learning is the key theme for learning contract number three. And if you look at the teacher's message of last week, I've given you five essential learning outcomes that you can get out of this kind of team-based exercise. But today, allow me to introduce to you in just a couple of minutes the contacts of problem-based learning in a very soft video. And after that, we're going back to the teacher's message for this week, week number eight, to help you understand what you are supposed to get done we are by the end of this learning contract, okay? So I love this video very much, simple, but very useful.
I hope you pick up some bits and pieces of the process. Let me repeat the process so that you understand what it's entailed in what you're going to do, starting from this week, next week, and the week after next week. Problem-based learning, as its name in pride, center on the problem. So each team is supposed to have a problem to start with. As of the result of our last week's effort, each team now gets a problem. And then, in order to reduce the number of teams in this particular class from 10 to 5, I'm ready to invite you to combine two teams into one task force. Now, so far, we have one task force form, but the rest of you have not given me your task force two team information yet. So today, you need to work out what is the composition of your task force, which two teams. Second thing is, when you come to class with a problem-based learning format, you definitely need to bring your problem onto the table in which your team member and your task force member need to work with during the class. Okay, if you look at the video, it said the format is a little bit interesting. You start out with the problem, and each of the team member need to do some research about the problem. And when they meet, they share the information among the team members. The team members listen, and then the team members pick up the information from each team member. Now, the process sounds very familiar because that's the process I introduced to you to pick a proposal from the four on your table. Actually, you need to repeat the process in class for the next couple of weeks, in actually three weeks from today. Now, each time you will be given some time to work on your table to listen to your team member about the findings he or she has already picked up. And principally speaking, and it did has to be done that way, this kind of finding should have already been shared on the Moodle environment using the team forum as well as the team wiki, all right? The only purpose of telling the whole table's members again with the team members present is to impress you enough so that you will give feedback immediately. Now, because of this kind of thing, each member will be given a chance to reflect on what they or she or he has learned over the past class period, okay, or actual over the period since you last met. So what we are going to do, according to the email message, better say the Moodle message of last week, and also the Moodle message of this week, you know that we are going to experience a new type of classroom management starting from this first day, okay? The new type of classroom management will begin like this. I will speak for less than 10 minutes time in order to give enough time for each task force, we cannot afford each team, to have a spokesperson coming up here to tell the whole class in not more than two minutes what the task force is up to, including repeating to the whole class what the task force problem proposal is and what the task force has accomplished and is going to accomplish in the week to come. Okay, so the spokesperson from each task force had some very important job at the beginning of the class after my introductions using not more than two minutes because five task force means ten minutes, okay, to introduce again to the class the problem of the task force, what the task force had already accomplished, and what the task force is going to accomplish, okay. So after that, with ten minutes gone, you will get into about 20 to 30 minutes time of group-based discussions on your table with the two teams in your task force. And then you will exchange information on the problems that you are working with. After that, you have to come up here, okay? After the 20 to 30 minutes each time, we will give from 5 to 10 minutes to each task force, okay? to share with the whole class what you have learned for your problem since last time, okay? So since we're three weeks time studying for 
today, the first sections will start on Thursday, okay? And then the next sections will start next Monday and next Thursday until the end of the learning contract number three. So all together, each task force will be given five chances, okay, during the period of the learning contract number three to leave to share the whole class how you have been doing with the problem at hand. All right, so today it's very important that you become a member of a task force. So in the task force, you have two teams and you have to negotiate out of the two team proposal, which proposal will become the task force proposal, okay? So, and then at the end of your sharing, which typically takes about um, 30 minutes, okay? I will come out again with the last five minutes to give you feedback on this. Now, this is very much the format suggested by the video in which I'm going to provide triggers to stimulate your thinking at the end of each task force sharing, all right? So that is the core message of this week's teacher's message. And then in this week's teacher's message, according to the questions I collected as of last week, I have already structured the teacher's message into what you need to do in learning contract number three. Very briefly, two tasks, okay? The first task is you must generate a problem for your task force to work with. So far, we have teams, and each team has already got one problem. Now, when you have a task force form, when the two teams come together, in your task force, on the table, you should have two team proposals. So within today's time, you should negotiate between the two teams in your task force, which proposal to go, and then you immediately start working with that proposal. The second task you need to be aware of is the number of artifacts you need to generate for your task force by the end of the third learning contract. Principally speaking, this has already been given you as a last class. It includes a team report, okay? It includes your personal blog. It includes team discussion detail. It includes a PowerPoint presentation file. It include three specific meeting minutes, one in this week, one for next week, and one for the last week of the learning contract. And then you also need to attend to, very important, the team as well as the task force wiki. And actually better say the task force wiki, which contains two team wikis and four pair wiki, something like that, as well as eight individual wiki. And so each member of your task force need to get involved in this. And so in this teacher's message for this week number eight, I've given you very specific details on what you need to do in the context of the wiki, in the context of the discussion forum, in the context of generating the artifacts for your work towards the end of the third learning contract. So, and it also reminds you the OIA format that you have to follow. Well, things are very familiar to you, that should be, because we talked about this last week. And so this week is actually the week for actions. So may I invite you to spend some time now on each table to think about what I have said and do you understand what to do now? And if you have not got a task force form, you're free to move around in five minutes' time to make sure your task force two teams are ready. And when you're ready, make sure at least one, at least one person from your task force give me a message at Dr. Rath's QA hotline of this week, number eight, so that I know which two teams will become a task force. So far, I just have one task force form. Okay? Out of the 10 teams, I know that eight teams needs to be put together to form task forces. And in the meantime, I will give our winner the time to share. Our winner will be given five minutes time to share because last time we missed winner. Okay, winner, I, let me give you the microphone. All right.
you just need to go back to uh, week number seven, public online discussion forum. Window number six or window number seven? It's very really up to you. So we're number six, right? Yeah. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, here's my sharing topic. Be careful of your Mac. It's related to a topic that we learned the week uh, before last week. Uh, there is an old saying. And that one day keeps the doctor away. Uh, we all know that iMac is famous for its safety. Uh, as the as the lady as the lady said in this forum, this is my first Mac. I bought it because I was tired of getting virus and being hacked on my Windows desktop. Uh, that means this lady buy his first Mac uh, because. Uh, he was always it get, it get, she get used to the uh, big hack on the Windows uh, computers. Uh, here comes the question: Why OS system seems not easy to get wireless? Uh, I would give two reasons. The first one is the small smart share. Uh, because of high, where, uh, high where, because Mac is very expensive, uh, not many people choose to buy it. Uh, the most people who prefer to buy a Mac is uh, uh, engineers or students. Compared to Mac, uh, both internet, uh, much more international uh, business companies will choose to use Windows systems. Uh, as for hackers, uh, they can they can uh, steal more useful information on the Windows system instead of Mac system. Uh, so hackers will not uh, easily choose to uh, hack on uh, OS user because they cannot get uh, enough value. The second reason is the closed system source code. We all know that the Mac system is very close. Uh, for 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 hackers who are familiar with the Windows Windows system, uh, it's very difficult for him to get a completely new system and uh, make the uh, and make uh, and first he need to. Uh, Notice the soft codes and then you find out the problems and start the habit. So uh, we can draw a conclusion that uh, Mac OS system is not easy to get wireless, not because its safety system is really safe, it's really safe, it's just because hackers are not preferred to hack on these computers. Uh, there is some expert even said uh, Windows system uh, is more uh, is 25 years more advanced than Mac system. So uh, as the nowadays, uh, many more companies choose to use Mac as uh, for their starts. Uh, it's kind of become a really huge problem for the information security. So how to protect our Mac? Uh, I give the four kinds of softwares. 
The first one is Gates Clipper. Uh, it is come, uh, he come up with the OS X Mountain Virus system. We don't see how to. It can help you. Uh, it can protect you from uh, installing unknown software, uh, just like this picture. That picture. Uh, the second one is the substitute substitutes for antivirus software, so, uh, such as uh, Azure or Crash Plan. It can help you restore your Mac after you get virus, uh, just like a top machine. The third one is Capsule Suit or uh, Absolute Software. It can help you to update, update your security system regularly. Uh, the last one is, is this guy. Uh, I guess many of you will be familiar with it. Uh, every time you go into the library and turn on the computers and then you just waiting for his appearance. Uh, it's the logos of the ESDT, uh, Cyber Security Pro. Uh, our school has bought all the version of ESDT, that means you can use it for free. Uh, if you are a student or office, our teachers in UM. So I give the links of download. If you are interested, you can uh, go to the formula uh, six, the first week, the sixth week, and find my PowerPoint and download it and click in the links and download the uh, ESET. You can both, uh, it, it can be both available on Mac or uh, Windows system. Thank you. That's all. Thank you very much, winner. Uh, so much. Very appreciate your information on the Mac. It's a very good piece, right? So now may I just make sure that we got time to work together with another team to make sure you got the information to your task force in the next five to ten minutes. And also you'll be able to work out between the two proposals from the two teams which one should champion for your task force proposal. Now, when you have already got those informations, make sure you come back to the course website and go to week number eight. Okay, this is this week's informations. Go to Dr. Vet Security Hotline from this week and let me know which two teams forms become your task force. Okay, and then hopefully you can also mention a little bit of your two proposals name. All right, so it's very important you spend time, you walk around, talk to the members in the other table to make sure you will go to agreement to form a task force. And if you want to know the current status of task force formations, you can also come to week number eight. I've already given you this information here. Now, when you click on this link, you can see that we just have task force 01 form. Okay, which is from, from team number 10 and um, no, no, team have. number, yes, team number 10. We and have two. We have two, right, yes, two. Two task force. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we have two task force, right. X actually instead of one, actually two. Okay, I have to apologize for this. It's happened, my thinking, I don't remember. So task force number one is from, from team number 10 and if I go down a little bit, and also team number nine. So team number 10 and team number nine are already came up to form task force number one. And task force number two, it's composed of team number two, as well as team number one, okay? So team number one and team number two are team up now to form task force number two. So actually, out of the 10 teams we have here, four teams are already lined up. So six teams remaining. So make sure you talk to those team members to have the task force established. Before the end of today, the best, and you also have a chance to discuss about the two proposals you have at your possible task force. Okay? Five minutes to ten minutes onto yourself on your table. And by the way, if the questions raise your hand, I will be at your table helping you through the process. Okay? We have quite a number of things today. Let's also go to the sharing bits for this week. Okay. And so we need to go back to 
week number seven. And I'm very much encouraged by your uh, great uh, participation to share. And I very much hope that besides individual sharing, we have more and more peer-based, team-based, as well as task force-based sharing coming up. And definitely, task force-based sharing will be happening starting from this first day, next week and week after next week, since it's one of the requirements for us to want problem-based learning format in class. So get ready, all right, get ready. Just, just go around, feel free to go around and talk to members from the other team. For today, day number 15, we have Gampo. Okay, Gampo would like to share. starting from the 16 will be pushed back, okay? We'll give each task force time to share first. Okay. So Fred would like to share today too. Okay, that's good. Looks like today is the very last day before the end of the learning culture number three, when individual sharings will be at the table. And of the lunch share today too. Wow, that's good. That's good. We have enough number of speakers today. And allow me to go to the hotline to see the current status of the task force formation. You know, this is a very critical point. If we do not have the task force form, we're not going to see anything on this first day in terms of the task force formation. Okay. I'm actually getting updates here. Okay, that's very good. Team number three and team number seven. All right. So let me let me do some updates here. <laughs> I'm going to do the update immediately. Three and seven.
上次講嘅，自己有第四份工作嘛，成日打嗰啲工作，好快嘅，係嘛？好快，好方便，好近，係嘛？
At that point, from now on, I would say this is the link for agenda, this is the link for the report, this is the link for the report. Don't worry about that. This is written in such a way that you know this is something we need to do. Okay?
Got some wording correct. Yes, I'm coming. What can I do for you? Okay, uh, how many pieces of artifact do you need to submit? Read the teacher's message of this week. First, it's what we call a task force report. Based on one topic. One topic. You are working out which one topic. Second, is the team uh, is the task force PowerPoint. Okay, remember the PowerPoint? You need to make sure you have a PowerPoint to do the task force presentations in the class. Third, individually. Oh no, that, that's not about the task force. Three meeting minutes for the task force. One for this week, one for next week, and one for the last week. Okay, so when you're doing the discussions now, you need to keep track of the decisions in the meeting minutes. So the report, the uh, the PowerPoint. Uh, the meeting minutes. Uh, everyone is the same, all right? And then you have to submit individually your journal. You have to select a topic for your journal from week number five to week number ten. It's, it's best to select a topic which will help you to complete the task force report. One journal, one topic for the journal, okay? And remember, each of the member in the task force should best select a different topic. We should have enough distinct topics for eight of you, okay? Each one you should select a different general topic, okay? This is a requirement. And then you need to write a blog. Each one of you is going to write a blog based on the same topic, that is the task force topic. But do not copy from one another. Each one of you must provide your personal perspective on that topic. And how do you provide? It depends on how you assign the question for each one of you to do. Okay? Normally, my suggestion is four questions for that single problem for the whole task force. And two of you is going to work on one question. So four questions is a all the eight persons work. So you will have a different perspective. Okay? Eventually, if a uh, same topic, but a different question. A different question would be a different perspective. Okay? So that is the problem. And then bonus. If you have already done the PowerPoint, if your task force decides to go for the bonus work, create digital story, each one of you need to get involved. You will get five more semester points. 
okay? That is half of the 10 semester part of that learning culture. It's quite worldwide. And then we need to finish the task force discussion forum with at least some members of the task force, including your learning partner. Your learning partner is a must, okay? And with at least one more, okay? And then you have to work out very important the wiki, the task force wiki. You have to construct the wiki. The wiki must keep track of every single detail that you have made, okay? Decisions on. And then it should best be structured in terms of the whole task force space, divided into two team space, divided into four pair space, and divided into eight individual space. Because you have to space for each person to carry out this work. You have space for each pair to carry out this work in this space, and so on. Okay? So basically, I did anything that I need to do. If I miss anything, read the teacher's message. I grabbed it very carefully this morning to make sure I, I can do it two ways. And ask your task force like, okay, you have to discuss about your task force. Oh, I'm very given to accept the ticket. Okay, but I will give one more time. Yeah, I will give one more time, okay? Discuss first. After you got the topic, I will show you one more time. With a temporary space that will affect some people. Okay, that is the next step. Thank you very much for your hard work. Okay, I need to buy some peanuts and drinks and a lot of people. All right. Any anything you need help? All right. You need help raising your hand. All right. Yes. Okay. The wiki is here, all right? So you have a space, you have a space with week number eight, nine, ten. Now this is week number eight, okay? Make sure your wiki is done here and start with week number eight. You see this link called a pair team or nine collaborations wiki. I'm going to change the name to pair team task force, okay? On collaboration wiki. You click on this link, you can start using the wiki. Alright? But I need some work done to include every member from your class in the wiki. So now the team members, no, no problem. The pair member, no problem. But for the task force member, before 11.55, it should be okay. I'm going to fix it. Alright? So this is where you need to write the wiki. And I'm going to show you an example of how to use the wiki again this first day. Okay, given the temperate, all right? So, <laughs> don't worry. Everybody needs to come to the wiki to keep the whole task force member update on what he or she can do. So, everything you discuss now must be kept a record through a secretary, through other secretary, or two secretaries in this game. And you have to find it. You have to designate the person. In no team is your secretary. Now your two teams is two secretaries. Two teams in one task force, right? So you should have two secretaries. Yes, write a meeting with it. Write down every single thing you discuss. It's very important. Yeah. Heidi is not here today. So um, she's responsible for this, I guess. Very good. Now, if you need help, make sure you let me know. This first day, besides running through the class using this format, I'm going to give you an example of Task Force Week so that you can follow the example. If you don't need the details, okay? Very good. Feel free to go around. Allow me to take attendance first, so then we can save some time towards the end. Um, I'm going to give time to the student who would like to share after taking attendance, okay? So it's very good. Start next class, we'll give the priority to each class to share. 
again according to the classroom format. So this will be the last time for individual sharing before the end of learning contract number three. Okay. <laughs> When I see you are so excited to get into teamwork. Johnson, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, it's not here, okay? Star is here. Ken, thank you very much. Terry, Terry, not here yet, okay? And then Iris, thank you very much. Andy, Andy, thank you. Uh, Christina, thank you. Gabriella, thank you. Sonia, Sonia, thank you. Tina, thank you. Cleo, Cleo, thank you. And then Joey, thank you. Winnie, thank you. Xiao Wei, thank you. Danny, Danny. Danny is not here today. Okay. Nicholas, thank you. Gala, thank you. All right. Rue, okay, thank you. Curry, thank you. Ming uh, Xiet, thank you. Louise, Louise, not here today. Okay. And Raymond, Raymond, okay. Steve, Thank you. Levine. Levine. Not here today. Okay. Alright, so the next next page. We go to the next page. Serenia. Thank you. Martin. Thank you. Brett. Thank you. Michelle. Thank you. Fatima. Thank you. Heidi. It's not here today, Karen, sure. Erika, thank you. Yoga, thank you, yoga. Yoga is over there, yes, Gambo, yes, okay, it's all right. Gambo is here. Winda, thank you. Uh, Ada, thank you. Steve Chen, thank you. Gia, thank you. Khan, uh, thank you. Hannah, thank you. Thank you very much. I hope with this much work together, you should have no problem coming up with a pro with a proposal, except that you might have some struggle. Do I need to give up my proposal in order to work with your proposal? Which one is much better? Now remember. In the teacher's message of this week, I have given you a key. Once you got the proposal ready, how are you going to connect your proposal with what we call the course intended learning outcomes? Okay? You have to study the course intended learning outcomes here, which I've already told you since two weeks ago. Emphasize one more time. These are the six course intended learning outcomes. No matter which proposal you're going to work with, the job of the individual member in your task force is to make sure you have to encompass a number of such outcomes at the end of the learning contract number three. So in other work, when you consider the questions to do in the specific proposal for your task force, ask this question. Do we have the opportunity to get ourselves involved with at least three out of the six of those course intended learning outcomes? Most of the topic I've heard as of last time will be able to give you enough opportunity to do things like this. So you need to do some information research uh, and look up some very technical examples which could match the capability of your task force when you present it in class here, when we read your report with your papers <coughs> submitted, you can have a very good table to tell us how you achieve some of these items. Okay? That's a whole task force. 
He's a very important man, all right? So although in this semester, we do not orient it directly to make sure that you got all of these done, but study in the fall of this year, you will see a complete different picture when I deliver the same course again in the fall, all right? You are going in this direction, learn to learn directions. All right, very good. Should I give the time to the individual students who would like to do the sharings today? I think so. Let's go for it. All right, so uh, let's see. Gambo would like to give the chance up uh, in order to allow more sharing to our students. That is a very big thank you from him. And then, so the first person to share, it's Ken. It's the number. Ken, according to order, you're the first person. It's Ken, are you ready? Thailand. Uh, Thailand, all right. All right, let him come back first. We're giving the chance after he returns. And then the second is Sonia. Sonny, would you please come up here according to the order of your sign? You are the first person after camp. All right. Make sure after the sharing you type in something here. All right. By going back to this link and type added and type in something with what you wrote here. Thank you, Sonia. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to share a topic from self regulation. And uh, let me simply explain, explain what this self regulation is about self control, which is something related to our self discipline. We may be shared before we act, especially when we go online. When we are using the internet, we are actually exposing ourselves to the world. Anyone can get the information about us, and we don't even realize that and uh, it's kind of danger to upload our information onto the website because we don't know when we will become the target to the hackers and so having a good uh, regulation is the best policy to deal with it uh, sometimes people may find it hard to improve their self-regulation skills and here are some ways to help you to make an improvement so self-awareness is one of the things we can't live without. We should pay more attention when we go online. If we come across something that we are not sure or something ridiculous to us, we should spend more time to do the consideration rather than making a decision with that concern. We can practice our self-awareness by noticing the details that we usually overlook. And by knowing our mistakes, we will be more careful about that. Uh, we will be more careful in the next time. And the second is uh, self discipline. It is also one of the most important elements in developing the self regulation. Every time we went, every time we want to post something onto the internet, think twice before we do that. Firstly, we should think about the content we are going to post. Is it appropriate? Secondly, will it turn out to be a threat to ourselves that people or hackers may use it against us? Having a good self-discipline is quite important because if we made it into a habit, we need not to worry about people to use their information to do something harmful to us. For example, like black methods. At last, in my opinion, we can't be impetuous and do what we want. We really need to think before we take the actions, considering their consequences. To me, I will always think of the worst situation about the things I did, and I will imagine will I be able to handle this, the result which is not suit my expectation. It's true to always practice the self-regulation, because the more we practice, the more we find ourselves attentive. And this is the end of my sharing. Thank, thank you, Sonny. It's very good, very concise on interpretation of self regulation. Now, Chen would like to give back the time. Actually, you're the last speaker and also the first speaker today. All right.
afternoon, I'm going to intro. I'm going to be talking about the internet fraud today. today. What, uh, what is the inter uh, inter internet fraud? Uh, is uh, to be fraud on person in the use of internet software and surface with internet access in order to take advantages from the first use. No information, document, property, or white by false revenue. Uh, with presentation, etc. Okay, according to some such statistics, we can show that there has a there is a up, uh, 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 upward trend. You can see that the, the number of the amount of money uh, was reported by by the hackers. Where can it, uh, can the internet uh, <coughs> I can find the email chatting room. Chatting room may be something that place, uh, some places have the computer or camera. Uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, uh, some some people are uh, not something uh, can record your conversation in the chatting room and your message box. And also the the most common is in the website. To enter something uh, uh, unknown, unknown website, unknown sources website, you. Uh, there are uh, uh, set, uh, many kinds of internet forms. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, this uh, force, these five commons uh, internet fraud. The first one is purchase fraud. A person who suggests to do a business transaction by using a fake or a stolen credit card is is something illegal to to uh, cheat you uh, to cheat you something. The other is the is is uh, the business opportunity or work at home uh, uh, streams. This means allows individuals to learn a lot of money among in working on they also uh, the the uh, the fox uh, the fox stars will show it uh, says uh, they will give you some plans sources uh, and help you you can work at home you can earn a lot of money but they are also fail to deliver the plans uh, and money but uh, in contrast they uh, they need you to deliver money to them and they will disappear the other uh, the first one is money transaction. The fraud consists of an offer uh, of an employment transferring money to a foreign country. Some some companies is uh, very famous. They may need to tra uh, transfer transfer some money to the foreign company, but some company is fake. Is uh, is is not uh, is not exist. It. The fourth one is dating fraud develops a relationship with their victims. Fraud and online dating site and convince the victim to send them send them money to the fraud star. The, the the last one is the charity fraud. The scammers post as a charity for organization. So this is a Okay. Uh, this is some methods uh, to prevent this from the uh, from the FBI. I the first uh, I I just picked up some points some points to talk. The first is avoiding internet action fraud. Understand as much as possible about how the action action works. What your obligations are as a buyer and what the seller's obligations are before you fit. Uh, the second one is avoiding from deliver of merchandise. Make sure you are purchasing much merchandise from our reputable sources. Avoiding the third is avoiding credit card costs. Don't trust us size just because it comes to be secure. 
uh, the form is avoiding investment fraud. Check out uh, other websites regarding this person or uh, company. The frequent is avoiding business fraud. Purchase, purchase mention that's from we put the form for the viewers or establishments. That's all. That is the record. If you want to see more methods to prevent the internet fraud, uh, you can see the first. Thing. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ken. I think you did a very good job in helping us the different types of fraud and some of the possible methods to help us to avoid those fraud. Now it's very good for individual people to share things like this here. And when I read uh, Ken's presentation, remember an essay I read from the uh, newspaper Hong Kong today. I'm going to share that with you in Chinese about photo taken and upload them to Facebook and turn it into the holographic material. And the victim becomes completely confused about us. All right, so looking forward to the first day when you come here, get ready to designate a spokesperson on your task force. The best way is designate two person as the spokesperson so that one miss another will come up and get ready for the five to ten minutes the whole task force sharing every time starting from this first day until the end of learning contract number three. Those of you who share with the task force will have the record come towards your in-class participation. All right? You will not get that card if you do not appear to share. All right? So make sure to share. Get ready with your topic. All right? So I'll see you back here on Thursday. I know it's already one minute past 5.15. All right? So if you have a question, you can come ask me after I switch off the camera. That's it for today's CISG 113, Section 1, Information Security. And we'll try to see you today, number 15. All right?